friends, if you don't know my feelings on Tanessa Merrick's by now, maybe it's because I'm super, super subtle, but I absolutely love Danessa Merrick's. I feel like it's a really versatile, innovative brand. And you can tell that it's led by a makeup artist. Like the innovation, everything that's there is like straight from the mind of an MUA. And I really, really appreciate that. Yes, I am just a consumer. I'm not an MUA, but I love kind of having a brand that is led by an expert. That just really appeals to me. Now, we have something new coming to Danessa. So you know my feelings on this. A massive thank you to My Makeup Radar for the information on this. Let's talk about it. This is the groundwork in defining neutrals palette. And yes, we are seeing an awful lot of neutral palettes at the moment, which, you know, it makes sense. But here's the thing. This one is quite different. A, it's talc free, which I knew was going to be a thing. We're seeing more and more of that. And I got to say, personally, I'm quite happy about that. But B, as is Danessa's general thing, this palette is multi-use. And let me get into a third point, which is C. There's two different formulas, like two different textures. So one texture is a velvety pomade. And then there's a color coordinated shade in that, which is the shape and fix, right? So you can apparently use these like across the eyes, the brows, the face and the lips. This is an MUA's dream. I think this is fantastic. So it does say that you could use the velvet pomade for your base. You can set with a shape and fix. Again, you can blend with that as well and you can line with the velvet pomade. I am here for it. Oh my God, like amazing. And you can really see here that they do have properly coordinating shades. You've your velvet pomade and the shape and fix powder. Now it makes sense that they've given a little bit less for the powder because let's be real, you don't need as much of that as you do of like more of a pomade sort of a formula. I love this. I can see some gray leaning things. So we have a little bit contour. We have some bronzy bits. Oh, this is, I mean, Danessa, shush. How dare you? Look, you know my feelings on Danessa. Anything I've ever gotten from her, I just love. And I think this is properly interesting. I mean, look here. We have very, very light with sandstone all the way through to tourmaline, which is the deepest shade. And you could mix and match these. I think this is very interesting. We have cool toned. We have a little bit of warm. Even though there's 10 shades, like they have made this very, very versatile. So those are your velvet pomade shades. And, you know, like I said, we have stone in there that's very, very grey toned. And then we have core right next to it, which is very warm toned. You could make an awful lot of shades out of this. I love it. In a way, kind of looking at this, because the very fact that it has these creamy formulas and it has the powder, it reminds me a little bit of Mitchell's colour case, but with the addition of powders. So it feels like it's an enhanced version of that, like it just feels so versatile to me. These are the shape and fix powders and you can see they, they do definitely correspond. But look at how beautiful they look. I mean, I love them as lip liners. That is so, so cute. Could use them on the eyes, the brows. Oh, I love that. I think, as I said, this is going to be an MUA's bloody dream. And I personally feel, um, you know, don't come for me, that Danessa's products in general are not like wildly expensive. Yes, the eyeshadows tend to be, but the other stuff are not as expensive as you would think they would be. Now, I'm assuming this is going to cost a bit because it is talc free, but you know, hey ho, I actually think that's fine. I'd love to know what you guys think. Like what sort of a price point do you think we're looking at here? Because I don't know yet. Look at that. Base of the velvet pomade, blend with the shape and fix. Spectacular. And I love, again, in all of these pictures, she's really shown, I, I love a bit of transparency, exactly what has been used. It looks so gorgeous. And also, I know this isn't the point, but look at the packaging of the palette. Like, that looks really, really nice. Now, I'd like to know exactly how much product we're getting per shade. And I would love if in the future she does, like, refills of this. That would be so smart. But I just love in all of these pictures, she's really showing how versatile it actually is, that you are using it everywhere. And I love that. Personally, I love seeing brands that are looking to innovate and it always feels like Danessa is innovating. And for me, I love that. Love that as a consumer. I feel this is just perfection. 
I really, 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 really like this. Now, apparently this is coming to Sephora sometime soon, so keep your little eyes out. I know the cult beauty stocks, Danessa, and so does Beauty Bay. I'll have some links down below. They'll be affiliate because I'm disgusting. But my goodness, I... Mm, I love it. I love a multi-use palette. I just think this is genuinely interesting. And honestly, that's kind of surprised me because I'm not normally that into neutral palettes, but the fact that this is versatile, that I'll get bang for my buck, love that. It's not just like, oh, here's an eyeshadow palette. It's a, here's a palette to use for like everything. Yes, please. Love it. Can you imagine? You could bring this traveling with you and have it be all that you need. I don't know why I'm saying like traveling as if I go anywhere. <laughs> I don't. My anxiety does not let me. But I think this is fantastic. Let me know what you guys think down below. Are you as weirdly excited about this as me? Or am I just like here by myself on this little island getting like weirdly excited? 